Hi, my name's Henry, and I'm going to show you today how to safely and correctly use a disc sander. This is a very useful piece of machinery if you want to sand down some corners, round off some edges, or just simply make a surface flat. Now I'm going to give you a quick overview of the disc sander. This is your supporting plate, which will keep your workpiece on whenever you're using the machine. This is the disc sander, this will be rotating at high velocity. Over here on the left you have your on and off switch. Down here you can use this, this is just a guide to help you move your workpiece into the disc sander. And down here is the extractor fan, you want to make sure that this is on at all times whenever using the disc sander. Some safety considerations to take into account, you want to always be wearing glasses and an apron whenever you approach the machine. You don't want to be using a workpiece that's too small. If the workpiece is too small, you're in danger of putting your fingers actually onto the sander, which you don't want to happen. And lastly, you don't want to be wearing anything that could get caught in the disc and pull you in, like a wristband or a lanyard. Make sure anything that you could dangle and fall into the machine is tucked into your apron. And you might, if you're doing anything particularly big, you might want to have a mask for dust. An important reminder whenever using the disc sander is that you always want to be using the left hand side of the disc. This yellow guard here is here to protect you. If your workpiece slips underneath it and goes there, it's going to get pulled around. You don't want that to happen. A useful application for the disc sander is smoothing down a rough edge on your workpiece. Do that as such, turn the machine on, gently push the surface that you want to smooth out into the disc sander. When you're satisfied, turn the machine off, then you've got a nice smooth edge. If you're working on something where you desire a specific angle that you want to sand at, you can use these two levers on the side and you can adjust the angle of the bed accordingly and then secure it and then you can push your workpiece in like that. For now we'll leave it flat. As a final note, if you're going to be using the disc sander, you want to make sure you're not sanding down any metals. This is a fire hazard given our extraction units are mainly set up for sanding down wood. Thanks for listening, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys around the iForge.